In this video, we're going to be looking at the Superflow variable speed pump from Pentair, and we're going to be comparing that to the Hayward Super Pump variable speed. And uh, what we're going to do here is we're going to run this system, which is a 150 square foot cartridge filter, and it's set up for a two inch suction line through the pump filter. And we're going to be going through this two inch line right here and feeding through this digital flow meter, which we're gonna monitor right here. Now, right now we're already running at 750 RPM. So that's gonna be our first test point. And as you can see, we're achieving 22 gallons per minute there. And up top, you can see top right corner, about 90 Watts, just a shade over 90 Watts is what the pump is consuming at 750 RPM. So let's go ahead and jump up to a thousand here. Really quiet. Variable speed pumps are extremely quiet, especially at the low RPMs. So we're up to about 28 gallons per minute. And just over 131 watts of power consumption. And we're not going to test all the numbers. We're just going to do kind of a a spread here, so we're going to jump up to 1500 now. All right. Just shy of 40 gallons per minute there. 257 watts power consumption. On to 2000. Fifty five gallons per minute. Big jump in the power there, as you can see, just under five hundred and ten watts, five hundred and nine watts. And power consumption, half a kilowatt. Seventy one gallons per minute. 920 watts. Eighty two gallons per minute. 1.53 kilowatts, so the decimal point moved there. 1,530 watts is what you're looking at. And this will be top speed now. At about a hundred gallons per minute. Two point two eight kilowatts of power consumption. Now let's take a look at the filter to see our filter pressure. It's about nine, nine and a half psi, and that'll be a good point of comparison here for when I hook up the second pump so that we can make a comparison for these numbers in terms of flow rate and power consumption. Okay, and here we are with a Hayward Super Pump variable speed. This is a 230 volt model. And the system parameters are all the same as with the last pump. We've got the two inch suction line open. 
through a 150 square foot cartridge filter and then again through this two inch line and through these flow meters we'll be monitoring the flow rate and the power consumption as well through some external wattage meters so right now we are already running here at 700 and 50 RPM, a little bit hard to read that. I mean, it's easy to read in person, but I don't think it comes through too clearly on the camera. Uh, but already at 750 RPM, there we are at 17 gallons per minute, which is really crazy when you think about it. And super crazy when you look at this power consumption, 30 watts, 30 watts of power consumption. It's a absolutely tiny amount of power consumption. All right, so now we're gonna jump up to a thousand. One thousand RPM. Twenty five gallons per minute. Fifty one watts. It's really low. I noticed that the other pump, the Pentair Superflow, has a higher base amount. I think it was like eighty or ninety watts. It pulls that all the time, even when the pump is off completely. Whereas this Hayward Super Pump doesn't do that. It has a very low. Uh, like four watts is its standing voltage draw for you know uh, powering electronic components and things like that so that's very interesting to see just how little power consumption we have with this pump all the way up at 25 gallons per minute all right gonna jump up to 1500 now 35 gallons per minute again top right corner now 131 132 watts of power consumption two thousand rpm Forty-five gallons per minute. Now we're getting a bigger jump up in power. Two hundred and seventy-eight watts. Twenty-five hundred RPM. Five hundred and sixteen watts. Three thousand RPM. Seventy five gallons per minute. 869, 870 watts of power consumption. And this next test will be maximum speed. Three thousand four hundred and fifty RPM. Eighty three gallons per minute. 1.3 kilowatts, 1.31, 1,310 watts. That's what that reads at. And on the left-hand side, you see about eight and a half amps at 230 volts. Let's take a look at the pressure here. About eight and a half is how I read that. Eight and a half PSI. It's important to recognize that it's it's not just a comparison of flow. Well, how much does this one move? How much does that one move? There's different pumps for different applications. 
and you want to choose the right pump for the right application. And just because you might see one pump, you know, that has a higher maximum flow output than another, it doesn't mean it's better. You really want to look at the spectrum of efficiency over a, a variable amount of, or variable RPM from low RPM, mid RPM to high RPM. And that's going to give you a good idea as to the potential of the pump or how efficient it can be. And the, the again, the end takeaway here is every swimming pool system is different. So this is just one example of a couple of pumps running on the same system just to help you get a little bit more of an idea of an apples to apples comparison between these pumps. If you found this information helpful, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And you can check out my website, swimmingpoolsteve.com.